As I mentioned, one of the main goals of this part of the course is to give you a little more Swift coding practice. And you've been doing this by adding some new features to the app, just like you would when you're making apps on your own. That leads me to your next and final challenge of this part of the course. Your challenge is to pause the video and modify Bullseye so that when the player taps the start over button, the game should reset. Specifically, the score and rounds should reset to zero and it should start a new round. When you do this, be sure to put the code to start the game over into its own method rather than putting it inside the action method. This will make your code cleaner and easier to understand. That's it. Now pause the video and good luck. Okay, so we want to modify Bullseye to start a new game. So the first thing we should do is, it's one of those situations, right? Where we're thinking, oh, whenever we want to do such and such, something and such and such should happen, right? Well, that's an example of writing a method. So we'll create a method here called start new game. And what do we need to do when we start a new game? Well, we need to reset the score, set it back to zero. We need to reset the round, set the round back to one. We need to set the slider value back to some number. We'll set it to 50. And we need to do a new random target. So int.random in one up into 100. All right, so now that we have a method to start a new game, all we need to do is call it when the user taps the start over button. So here's our button. It currently has no action. So all we have to do is self.startNewGame. Build and run. Okay, I'll play a round. Okay, so I have a round two, score 62, and 28 is the random target. And if I click start over, it goes back to zero, one, and a new random target of 68. Great. 